and go, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic, and if you're new here, let me be the first to welcome you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle. So if that is the kind of content you were into, I would definitely welcome you to subscribe, share, like, hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. And then today's edition of the first video for Black History Month 2022, I would be completely remiss if I did not show up with Target's Black History Month collection. I picked up a couple of things and I wanted to share it with you all. Of course, you know this is the secret for Target. Check it out online, check it out at your local store, and go everywhere around town until you find it. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, customs underscore chic, yes, a shameless plug, you would have already seen this sweater. This is actually just from the Target Black History Month collection. There's actually four or five brands who have made different items. So there's t-shirts, there's sweaters, there's active wear, there are vinyls, which is super cool. I didn't pick any of those up because I don't have a vinyl record player, but but still, you know, it's still something to cherish. Um, there are um, houseware items, there are gift cards, I'm sorry, not gift cards, like stationery, there's totes, everything that you're actually looking for because what target has everything for you so this i picked up in a size medium and i absolutely love this because how rude <laughs> that is my phone please give me a second okay now that we're back from that phone interruption so i actually picked this up because i love the graphic design on this this actually is very reminiscent to me of the album cover that sade did years ago where it was just like her profile and she had i want to say she either had a bun or she also had like this long bant bantu knot um ponytail loved it the earrings here this like silver circular just bold gold foil on the sweater is giving me everything that I need so I went ahead and put on my it's all about culture um bamboo hoop earrings I know these look heavy they are not they are absolutely phenomenal um I will tag her down in the description box she makes all kind of beautiful earrings and yes she is black owned so shameless plug for that also black history month we're trying to do all things black every day all day so here we are I don't think I shared my outfit but those of you who follow my Instagram you would have seen this already I actually wore this um, sweater while I was in Napa a couple of weeks ago kind of like a early birthday celebration actually we were celebrating a lot of things and if you see me doing this and this because I don't have any heels on and I feel like whenever I'm presenting that I need to be on my P's and Q's and I would usually put on a pair of high heels but y'all can't see me so <laughs> what does it matter so if I'm going up back and forth up and down it's only because I'm standing on my tippy toes that I'm getting back down but I'm also trying to give y'all a better look at the sweater so um like I was saying so I wore this in Napa I actually wore this with a um a full leather skirt that I picked up from Zara in all honesty and transparency it was a dress that I wore as a skirt and I wore some um knee-high tan boots from Pretty Little Things and it was absolutely a super cute outfit I will throw that in there so that you guys can see it it's the same picture that's in the thumbnail so you got it to wise <laughs> um this sweater retailed at 18 dollars what i did notice about the black history month collection this year in target anything that was made just by target alone um the back or the tag of it just said black history month collection and anything that was made by an actual designer who collaborated with target for the black history month collection had their brand name on there love it um i was introduced to the brand jolie noir i did not know about these fabulous ladies before but when i tell you i picked up like all of their pieces all of them so let's get to those next okay the next up is this beautiful graphic sweatshirt from jolie noir these are the two sisters that i was mentioning earlier um they are actually based out of atlanta and i absolutely love this this is giving me the um hang manolo blonics like hangisi either pumps or just amina muwadi something very very cute but i absolutely love this sweater i actually got this in a size of medium yes i'm still wearing those leather shorts and i actually paired them with my fabiona pumps from manolo blonic themselves very reminiscent i figured i would do a little play on the actual sweater while i was styling this now i know what you're thinking it is february <laughs> 2022 which means we are dead in the winter in the middle of winter but i live in florida so i can you know pseudo get away with this stuff i could actually probably wear this out 
to like a brunch or something super cute it is very very cute i feel super comfortable in it i got it in a size medium this was actually priced at 25 dollars um still a really good price point because i don't think the brand outside of this collaboration with target has price points that are that low even if they didn't they're that dope that i still want to support so i'm here for it um i have on these pearl hoop earrings i got these from amazon same red lippy just to give it a little bit of a pop this is actually very very comfortable there's none of that like itchy um material or feel that sometimes you can get from sweatshirts i have heard though a good way to get rid of that itchiness in um cotton or anything like wool inspired is to wash it in a little bit of vinegar i have not tried it's just something i read on m on um youtube or somewhere on Al Gore's internet so make sure if you have something that is cotton blend or very itchy or is tending to be irritating to your skin go ahead and throw it in some vinegar and it should be okay um so yes this was $25 I absolutely love it I love the details on it um it's just giving me real fun girl and at the bottom of it it says Jolie Noir Noir for those of you who don't know I'm sure most of you do know literal translation in French is black so this is pretty black or you know it's cute it's cute i like it and still again with the petra braids y'all i love these braids so much i love it even more because they're like long and they just make a statement i can't like i can't get rid of them but super cute um you can dress this up or dress this down right now this is dressed up so you can't see my entire outfit and i will show you guys i'll put in a little snippet of me kind of walking around with the shoes but Super easy, super cute. I mean, I would even probably wear this to work on a Friday, even though we're not supposed to wear labels or whatever that is, but who's gonna check me, boo? another sweater from none other than Jolie Noir. This is still the Black History Month collection with Target. I got this sweater in a size small. I will tell you that this part of the collection or at least this item in their collection is unisex. Um, it was $25. The color of it is Rosebud. The tag didn't necessarily have a name for the actual sweater, just a style number, but I can guarantee you this is still available. It is unisex, so keep that in mind. The size run is from extra small to I think a 2XL. Um, I am busty. I am probably a true size medium large just kind of depending on the fabric depending on the designer just to give you guys a little bit of reference when you're actually going out there and purchasing it if you're looking for something that's a little bit more roomier i would say go with the medium but this small has ample ample room i love the color um it's kind of like the salmon color it's given me and i absolutely love the message it says um noir is what i'm wearing today come on this is what i actually love about this collection I think I said this before, but I would be remiss if I didn't just keep reminding you guys. I picked up like seven pieces in total. I have two more things that are coming in um, via the mail. And then I also purchased Joshua and Zoe, which are my niece and nephew. They're not my only niece and nephew. I just, <laughs> I shoot content with them. So that's why I mention them more often than not. But I absolutely love the mesh. Like black is what I'm wearing today. Black is who I am. I lead with my blackness. I absolutely love this. Um, it's a statement piece. It's cute. You can dress this up, dress this down. Again, I still have these on with those same um, faux leather shorts from Zara. Um, I kind of, I, I guess I could have tucked it in, but I don't know, like the half tuck would have given me what I wanted. Two, it would have kind of taken away from some of the message. It would have been lost. So I just kind of tucked it in underneath my shirt here or my shorts. Um, I could pull the sleeves up if I wanted to just to give it a little bit of a more relaxed look, but I actually like it all the way down. Um, I want the entire focus to be here. If you think you're going to get lost in kind of wearing this because it is considered I don't want to call it oversized it's definitely unisex so when you have pieces like that you tend to have to figure out a way to make them fit your body better but at the end of the day this is still a sweatshirt right so if you're not looking for fashion but you're looking for comfort um go ahead and go with your regular size or size one up but remember this is unisex so you may get a lot of bang for 
your buck. Um, my earrings, again, this is a black owned designer. I will put her name down in the description box so that you guys can contact her. These were gifted to me over Christmas by my good girlfriend Toya. Um, but she has tons of stuff, she being the designer of these earrings, has tons of stuff on her Instagram. And let me move closer so that you guys can see. They are a red and black and kind of gold tintish, tint-ish, tint-ish. Can you say that times really fast? Um, and they look heavy, but they're not. I love the kind of like geometrical things that it's got going on right now, shaping and still look with the Patra super, super, like this is past a, like a top knot. This is like a forehead knot. <laughs> $5, Rosebud is the color. I think it's more like a salmon, but we're gonna go with what it says on the tag. The tag does not have the style name, it just has the style number. I checked when I purchased this today. <laughs> And also online and in stores is still available. It is unisex, so do it fret. Like if you feel like you can't find your size, don't worry about it, size down. If you want something a little bit more fitted, size up. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more comfortable. And let's get on to the next piece. So this little beauty is the next top. It says Noir Icon. I'm sure you've seen this. This is also part of the Jolie Noir collection. This is also unisex. Also unisex. This is a size medium. And y'all, when I tell y'all I am swimming in this thing, I had to tuck it, do a little trick in the back so that I can cinch it. And uh, she's still big. <laughs> But that's okay, I actually wanted it oversized even though I knew it was gonna be a unisex feel because I wanna be able to do a little bit more with this shirt. If I wanted to, I could probably wear this as a t-shirt dress, but I would have to have a lot underneath on the bottom because otherwise, your girl is gonna be showing all the goods and that's not really what we are here for. So, this was $20. Again, I don't know the name of the style. The tag does not have that information. It just has a style number. When I purchased this today, at my local Target, it was available. I also checked online, it was available there as well. I absolutely love this, it's very roomy. It's a very nice cotton. Um, it's not like Pima or anything, but it's still very comfortable. No itchiness, no nothing. I love the length of the sleeves. I actually appreciate that because sometimes things are made tall, but people don't really take into consideration like the length on the arm. So if this would have been like here, I, I don't think I would have loved it as much. I feel a lot warmer in it. Again, I have it on with these same black shorts. I probably should do a reel on different ways to style black shorts with just these <laughs> Target um, tops from the Jolie Noir collection. I absolutely love this. Um, this is a true crew neck. It covers the entire width of my neck. I typically, typically, typically love a good V-neck, but I'm not mad about this one. I feel super safe, I feel super secure. Um, I'm busty, I say this in almost every single video, but it is a part of my body that I'm super conscious about when I'm getting dressed. Self-conscious, probably, but definitely self-aware of it, and it's not a part of me that I'm trying to always accentuate, so I can appreciate this part of the shirt kind of hiding all of that. I try to do that IG trick where you like put something inside of the shirt. Let me see if y'all can see this. If you put something inside the shirt and cinch it, and it came out really cute. It's like a part of a knot. Like, I'm gonna have to start doing this more often, but um, it's cute. I did iron this before, but I tried to do the knot here on the side, and the girls were like, no. <laughs> they just said, no, honey, give it up. But I absolutely love this. Super comfortable. Unisex, $20. You can't go wrong with this. Even if you bought this for you and all your girlfriends, this could be like a really cute fashion moment. You can wear this with a skirt. You can tie it on the side if you want to. You can actually open this up because there's so much material here around like the neck area. If you wanted to, you can make this off the shoulder. You can do all kinds of things with it. And for $20, like you're supporting the cause and Come on, you're an icon. I forgot to mention, these earrings are also from It's All About Statement Jewelry. Same black owned brand with the same gold bamboo earrings that I had on earlier. I love her pieces. These are so beautiful. I liked the juxtaposition of the turquoise on top of this cream that also matched with the uh, shell on the earring. So I'm gonna put her information down below. She makes these um, made to order so listen check her out she has so many of these she has a different variation some that I want to say are a little bit smaller and then they also come in a different color if I'm not mistaken I want to say that they come in a pink so y'all check her out black history month
Okay, so last but not least is this two-piece jogger sweatsuit set from the original just Black History Month collection from Target. This is not affiliated with any other brand or any other designer aside from just the normal Target line. So what drew me to this is because I don't have a lot of sweats. I don't have a lot of like loungewear pieces. Most of my loungewear pieces, I think maxi dresses, I think billowy pants, and maybe just a like, you know, oversized t-shirt or something of the sort. But every time I see my friends with like sweatsuits, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. I like that. Why didn't I get it? And they're like, oh, it was part of that collection that's now gone. I don't know why I made those sound effects, but, it's, <laughs> but it sounded good. So... Tell me what you all think. So this fits me actually pretty well. This is a size small. Both pieces, both pieces cost $18. I think that's the only like sizing or pricing variation that I saw with just the regular Target brand and another brand that did something else. Most pieces for Target were $18 or below. And then if it was a designer, it was $25 or $20 or, or something of the sort. But um, so this fits really well, but I feel like I would have done better in a medium. Like my girls are not constricted, but they're also, I don't know, I feel like a couple extra inches everywhere would have made me feel better. And I'm also considering the fact that this is not pre-shrunk. So when I wash this, I will probably hand, um, hand dry, like, you know, air dry them. But when I wash this, this is going to shrink. I don't think that this is pre-shrunk. My butt looks great in them, which is, you know, no girl can ever complain. Right, but I still am missing some inches on the bottom of my feet. And I'm trying to show you guys, hopefully you see it in the side-by-side -side video. And I have it on with a pair of um, open toe, like, you know, little heels if I wanted to dress it up. But then it defeats the purpose of why I actually bought these, to just lounge in. Don't get me wrong, I can lounge in a pair of heels all day, every day, and then twice on Sunday. But... I wanted this to be like a super easy outfit that I just throw on if I want to run some errands, if I want to hang out with the kids. You know, I do like this because the band is, you know, it creates a nice sort of like shift. So fabric, 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 print, 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 solid, print, print, print. We love it. Um, I can tuck it in. It's a nice, you know, it's a nice width band. So that's why one, I have not taken off the tags because I'm not absolutely sure the tags for this one are up here. It has pockets. I love that. Um, no pockets in the back. I don't hate that, but I am missing some material on the bottom. I don't know what it is about the tall girls. Y'all really don't be showing us love like y'all should be. Like, why? <laughs> Just, why? <laughs> we want to wear these things too. So if you are interested in this, remember, this is actually also unisex. When I went to my local Target, they only had smalls, extra larges. I thought, okay, I can buy the extra large, but I'll be swimming in it, which is not necessarily a bad idea because, like I said, I wanted this for loungewear, but I don't want to be that loungy. You know, I want to be loungy cute. Like, this this fits just fine. It, it, it really does. Like, it gives, you know, the shape that it's supposed to. You can see my little hips over here. You can see my little bust up here. But I, it's just not exactly what I really wanted. I think if I had a size medium, it would be great. And I'm not necessarily sure, though, that the size medium would give me the inches on the bottom that I'm looking for. So let me know. What do y'all think? Yay or nay? Keep it? Ditch it? What do we do? So remember, if you like any of these pieces, make sure you go into your local Target to make sure that they actually have them. I actually went in stores. This sweater and the first Jolie Noir sweater that I showed you guys in that leather, um, in that light heather gray, I actually purchased in Houston. And then the rest of the stuff, I bought it in my local Target here in Orlando. Word to the wise, make sure you go to your local Target because sometimes things that they say are available online are either sold out, but that does not mean that they're not sold out in your local store. So if you are interested, make sure you go out and get these. I definitely checked before I did this video this morning. And by the time it's up for you guys tomorrow on Sunday, these are items are still available if not in store then check online i cannot stress this enough i absolutely love this collection this year because it was more amplified it was more there was more culture involved and i think they they were pulling more and more from different brands younger brands and brands that were more relatable um not that there's anything black that's not relatable that's a whole different conversation and i don't want to go down that loophole but essentially what i'm saying is i'm here for the brands that they use for this year hopefully they'll start carrying their items long term and not just for black history month because i mean these brands are dope they deserve the recognition not just in february but all year long so if you stuck around this long you know what to do make sure to like 
share, subscribe. Definitely hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload. Y'all, while I just did this, um, it just gave me reminiscent vibes of Patra. Y'all remember Patra? She was the um, Jamaican dance hall um, singer back in the day when I was too young to actually be singing her songs. But I was. <laughs> anyway, see y'all next time. Love ya. Bye-bye.